Hello and welcome to Margareta's Hobby Group. Uh, I am Margareta and you can find me on Instagram, on uh, um, Facebook, on Ravelry and of course YouTube as Margareta's Hobby Group. I am uh, 54 years old and I live in Trondheim. And this is a podcast about knitting, so if you don't interest in knitting, you can just find another podcast to watch. Uh, so, uh, I have some things to talk to you about today too, so I hope you will like this episode. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'm going to show you what I'm finished with since the last time. I uh, just have to stretch out. I, ha I have some things here. So, yeah. Uh, in the last episode, <clears throat> I told you about my colleague who uh, had got this uh, mittens from her grandmother. Uh, her grandmother died, I think it was six years ago, uh, and she had uh, knitted this mittens. But uh, the thumb was uh, not finished. So I asked on Facebook uh, to see uh, to um uh, yeah I asked on Facebook if someone had the pattern for it uh or the chart for it and yes there was a woman who sent it to me so now the thumbs are finished uh the grandma grandmother didn't use the same uh, chart inside the mittens that uh, the rest the pattern said so um, that's why i had to use the same inside of the thumb but besides that uh they are the same here and here so they are now finished and i uh, hope uh, my colleague will like them. Uh, in the, the bag that I got these in, there was this uh, white yarn that I showed you last time, but there was not uh, the grey yarn. So I found uh, some yarn uh, in my stash, and there are, it's not the same yarn, but there are almost the same color. You can hardly see the difference. So, I think she will like them. So, I will give them to you, <clears throat> to her uh, after the weekend. Uh, the next thing I am finished with is um, a new UFO. Uh, in September last year, me and uh, three of my friends were in, um, in Oba, outside of Alanya in Turkey on holiday and uh, of course we needed knitting with us uh, and when i'm there i think it's too hot to knit with uh, wool yarn so i always uh, knit with uh, cotton yarn and i decided to knit um, uh, of my own pattern that is called uh, budil uh, uh, kitchen cloth and uh, towel kitchen towel so when I was there, I had uh, knitted up uh, here from the bottom of, up here, and I found that uh, it was um, uh, it was too big. So I ripped it up, ripped it up, and started again. And I was uh, around here when I started it on it now. So now the towel are finished. <clears throat> Uh, I uh, knitted first one uh, ball of yarn and then uh, before I continue this one I started with a uh, cloth, kitchen cloth and knitted this and then uh, continued on the towel and knitted the rest of the yarn uh, or the ball uh, with the, uh, on this one. So one towel with uh yeah some um some uh, cables and some um, lace work uh, on the sides so this pattern is out on ravelry uh, has been there for a while so if you want some uh, simple cloth uh, to knit uh, you can find the ravelry uh, the pattern on ravelry 
Yeah, so that was was what I was finished with. <clears throat> um, so over to uh, what is in my needles or <laughs> on my needles, not in. <laughs> Uh, I told you the last episode that I started on Fridkofta. It looks like this and I think this is a very beautiful uh, kofta. Uh, when I saw it the first time I really liked it and it is my colors. But uh, I had a question from a woman who uh, asked me if I could knit that uh, kofta for her. Kofta is a Norwegian word for this jacket, knitted jacket. And I said yes. So, uh, that has been my main knitting project uh, the last weeks. So, I'm finished with um, the... Oh, yeah. Don't remember what you call it. Uh, it is knitted from uh, bottom and up and I'm uh, finished with this one <coughs> uh, up to the sleeves or arms no sleeves and I have knitted on the sleeves I use uh, magic loop on the sleeves so I think it is so great to use uh, magic loop on the sleeves because uh, then I um, increase on the same um, round and they are uh, exactly the same so uh, I have uh, I think uh, six or seven centimeters again before they are finished and then I can put it together with this one and uh, uh, knit the yoke up here so a few weeks more so they will this one will be finished i think <clears throat> uh, next one i was working on uh, are working on is uh, my socks that i have started on months ago uh, but these are <clears throat> uh, socks that i knit uh, when i do not have anything else and when i need some very simple things thing to to knit on so i have i don't remember when where i was the last time but i think i was around here or something uh, so i have started on the toe now uh, i have knitted a couple of rounds of the of the toe uh, this are knitted in uh, Alicia Superwash from Turkey and it is very lovely yarn. So these are no rush, uh, just, yeah, you know, when I need something simple. So soon finished with the first one. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and I didn't say the yarn on the kofta. Uh, this is uh, Viking yarn, a Norwegian uh, fabric. Uh, it is 85% alpaca superfine and 15% highland wool. So alpaca yarn. Um, very nice yarn, this one too. Or I use almost only nice yarn. <laughs> As I guess you do too, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, the next one I was working on, or I haven't done anything since last episode, but I was starting on uh, the Midsummer Shawl by uh, Gro Tveitestol, a Norwegian designer. She has uh, some very beautiful shawls. Um, but I have uh, decided to rip this up and I will tell you why in a later episode. So I haven't knitted anything on this one. Or I will tell you later this episode. Uh, and the last thing I have been working on is uh, this yarn. 
this is uh, a yarn that I bought uh, last year, I think. It is from Knitre. It is 75% uh, uh, superwash merino and 25% nylon. Uh, 425 uh, gram gram uh, on um, 100 uh, no 425 meters on 100 gram and I think these colors are so beautiful and they are summer for me this is summer colors so I thought it was so funny to design my own pair of socks like I showed you in the last episode so I started on a, on a new pattern but I will not show you the whole sock I will only show you the foot um, these are knitted toe started on the toe and up and I am finished with the heel here and I do not want to show you uh, the front side because um, it is uh, this uh, are in one color and there will be some uh, lace knitting on the front so uh, I will not show you that today but you will see it when the pattern is finished but I just love these colors yeah <clears throat> so that was what I was finished on uh, or working on sorry um what have i been sewing um i haven't been sewing much but uh, just a little bit i made this project bag i bought some uh, fabric in turkey and i thought this was so beautiful uh, with the butterflies on <clears throat> so i bought this uh, knitting bag uh, with um uh, we call it snur pose. Uh, this is snur in Norwegian. So you can take it together like that, and you have uh, this one to hold it in. Um, yeah, and the it is white inside. And uh, I got a um, question from a friend of mine who wanted uh, who asked me if I wanted to sew bags for uh, to store her bread in uh, they had to be in a special kind of fabric uh, so that uh, when the bread uh, are uh, in the kitchen or yeah uh, when they have used a little bit but not all of it uh, the bread will uh, still be uh, soft inside and uh, a bit um, uh, we call it sprue uh, kind of hard uh, on the outside so I went to the shop and asked and uh, the woman at the shop said uh, I had to use linen fabric so uh, and uh, my friend wanted it to be uh, a little bit big uh, 40 centimeters this way and 50 this way so and uh, uh, she wanted hangs on it and uh, to close it up so i knitted uh, sewed <laughs> not knitted sewed this one to her uh yeah these are hangs on like this and you can uh, close it like this and the nice is that uh, because she wanted that the fabric could, could, uh, would be washable at 60 degrees but since this is 100% uh, linen uh, you, she can wash it at 90 degrees so I sent her the picture of this one yesterday and she was very happy. So I have, uh, because she wanted two bags like this. So I have a little bit more uh, left on the second one and then I will send it to her. Yeah, um, so that was my sewing. <laughs> Not much, but um, yeah, a little bit. 
So what did I buy since uh, last time? I haven't bought any yarn. That's new record for me. <laughs> the only thing I bought was this. I bought uh, this um, uh, set of uh, Knit Pro um, needles a uh, couple of years ago and the cables and uh, but um, in that bag it was uh, needles from 3.5 millimeters and up and I needed three millimeters so the only thing I bought was this one <clears throat> but I got a question from my boss at the hospital one day uh, she one uh, asked me sorry she asked me if I wanted some yarn because she was helping a friend um, cleaning up uh, a storage room uh, where he had a lot of things. <coughs> <coughs> oh, a lot of sorries today. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so uh, they have found some yarn. So she, uh, she asked me if uh, I wanted it and I said, of course I want. So one evening she came here with, um, um, you know, garbage bags. They are pretty big. Uh, it was over half full with yarn. And I said to her, this is a candy uh, bag for me. I don't need to go to the shop to buy candy when I have this yarn. So I... Uh, enjoyed that evening uh, taking out yarn after yarn after yarn and um, uh, sorting it out in different kinds of yarns and yeah i i just loved it so i'm going to show you some of the yarn i got <clears throat> uh, the first one was this big ball uh, this is uh, Gigant mohair, giant mohair, 20% uh, mohair and 20% acrylic. It is 200 gram and 1000 meters. Not sure what I'm going to do with this one, but uh, yeah, some, um, some uh, doll clothes, maybe. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of doll clothes, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, it was this blue one and this uh, pink reddish. It's not the right color on the screen now, uh, but uh, yeah, no, it's difficult to to get the right color. But it it is it is uh, red with a bit of pink in it. So that was these two. <clears throat> Uh, then I got some sock yarn. I have a brother who uh, loves the old kind of uh, socks uh, knitted in this yarn. And this is Globus Garn. And this is old. I have no clue how old it is, but I know it is it is old. 80% wool and 20% nylon. So it is this perfect sock yarn. And it was two uh, of these. Here is another sock yarn called Ragga Garn. Uh, same 80 wool, 20 nylon. And it is uh, 100 gram and 200 meters. It's a blue one or a navy blue. It was this red and white. And another red and white a bit darker red there you can see the difference and there was more of the brown and there was blue and white yeah and uh, another with the dark red so this is gonna be many pairs of uh, socks but I like to knit socks. I have knitted 
like hundreds <laughs> pair of uh, this kind of socks. Um, well, many hundreds is not uh, not exactly many hundreds, but I have knitted a lot of uh, those socks um, over the years because uh, my brother loves them, I like them, my son likes them now, and my ex-husband likes them, so yeah, I've, it's been a few. Uh, and there was also this bag with uh, used uh, skeins of balls, like this. This is orange, this is black, there's some yellow, uh, black brown or dark brown this is blue and it is yeah the whole bag is full of used skeins but i can still use them to some or to something like uh, a blanket i can use them as stripes in socks or yeah anything so the next was this uh, called uh, Fritids Garn? It's not so easy to see, but it is uh, like this Fritids Garn. Uh, this yarn you can uh, uh, buy today too, but not in um, skeins like this. So this is not new either. Uh, these are yarn that are perfect to wash and um, tore. Um, God, I'm, I don't know what that is called in English, but you know, we you uh, knit, for example, big um, um, mittens that are bigger than you and you wash them and they shrink. Uh, so they are, they fit your hand. So this is perfect yarn for that. Uh, it was one skein of that one and it was this yarn. This has to be uh, German something. Have you heard, anyone heard of it before? Uh, the fabric called Edelfrau. Uh, the yarn is called Lindhorst von Wulle. Does not say what it is. It says pure new wool uh, and it is 50 gram uh, but it doesn't say um, how long uh, or how many meters it is but it is four skeins of this so 200 grams it is um, green color and it was this yarn no clue what kind of yarn it is but i think this is wool yarn uh it uh, doesn't seem that it is any uh, acrylic or polyamide or something in it um think they are 100 gram but it doesn't say anything so this uh and this i think i'm pretty sure this is the same yarn because it was in um uh, uh, in the bag they were like this also the green and the blue one so I tried to find the way to, to make them like this but I didn't find it yet so this is also the same yarn and it was two of these um, this grey yarn so two skeins of this so gray and green can be something or gray and blue can be something uh, the next was this one this is old this is from Rauma Ulvara fabric the same uh, fabric that has the finul yarn now uh, it says uh, pure wool uh three threads and uh norwegian so this is an old uh, label on the yarn i don't think this is phenol but i'm not sure what kind of yarn it is uh, or it it says 
t uh, three trends so i guess it is three red trends <laughs> uh this is like very dark brown and there was also this yarn no label i have no clue what kind of yarn it is but it, it feels like kind of merino yarn but i'm not sure uh i think it was three skin of this gray one and it was um this one Per Gint from uh, Sonia's Garn, Sonia's Yarn, and this is an old label. Um, it doesn't say anything about what it is, but these are uh, Per Gint is um, pure wool, hundred percent wool. That I know because you can buy Peregrine today too, but not with these labels and not in a scale like this because today it they are like balls. And it was this one. Uh, this is newer yarn because the label are new newer. And here it says um, uh, 182 meter on 100 gram, and it also says the price. It cost ten kroner and ninety five uh, uh, or ten point ninety five kroner. It is uh, eleven today. It is eleven kroner, uh, and that is the same as one pound or uh, uh, a little bit more than one dollar. <laughs> so it was cheaper that time. Uh, so this it was this blue one. And it was this white one, or this is uh, off-white. And it was this uh, pink, uh, or no, not pink. Um, yeah, lilac. Uh, and it was 13 skeins of this color, 13. And this one was 15 skeins <laughs> so only these two i have 28 skeins so what i'm going to use it for i don't know but i was thinking of um, the kufta loppa uh, by pinaguri uh, it it called um oh you can find the pattern in english too but i don't remember what it's called in english i'm sorry but uh i could use this as uh the main color and this with this yellow as pattern colors wouldn't this be uh, great together in a kofta because this yellow yarn uh we have a um, chain of stores that is called uh, um Reimers. when i was a little girl like 11 12 years old i remember my mother was going to this Reimers, uh shop to buy yarn we still have Reimers here in trondheim but the, they don't sell yarn i i don't think they have done it for on for many years because now they sell uh, underwear and um, nightwear they had underwear and nightwear that time too but also yarn so this is reimers yarn uh reimers husband it means reimers uh, skein and this is 100 gram uh pure wool but uh it doesn't say how many meter on the skein the, it is a little bit thicker than Pergint, but I think I can use these together. And the last thing I found in uh, those uh, the yarn bag was these. Are these cute? Small dolls. I'm not sure what they are used for, but I was thinking maybe a they are to um, put on eggs on the breakfast table <laughs> i'm not sure but 
that was my thought and it was one orange one green uh, one uh, mint green and one red and I thought they were uh, cute I'm not sure if I'm going to use them to anything they, they need a wash <laughs> uh, when I got the yarn um, the, because the yarn had been stored for a um, long long time uh, it was this, uh, you know, this old, uh, uh, this, it was smelling old from it. But um, uh, since I got it, I, this, yeah, a little over a week ago, maybe it's almost two weeks ago, it has been um, because I uh, put it in smaller bags, different bags. Uh, and put it in my hallway and uh, it has been standing there so the smell is almost gone but i'm thinking that when i knit um, uh, knit of it and um, wash it the smell will be gone or if it's not i will uh, hang it outside and it will be gone after a while so that's no problem so it was so fun to get all this old yarn and to look at it and uh, sort it and yeah it it was fun very fun <laughs> so uh, then i am going to talk to you to you about knit along i have on my ravelry group margareta's hobby group the knit along on uh, blankets uh no, yeah uh the knit along is going uh to the end of this year 31st of uh, december and uh if you need a big blanket uh <coughs> <coughs> sorry again um a big blanket for a grown up person or for the um, um sofa or something uh you can put uh the the Oh, the blanket in there um yeah but not baby blankets they are too small it has to be a, a bit big to put to put it in and i will draw a price when um, the year is over uh i also have um a knit along on fortuna kofta uh, unfortunately that is only on Norwegian and the pattern is only on Norwegian I haven't started it myself yet but when I'm finished uh, with the Frid Kofta that I'm knitting on now I'm gonna start on uh, Fortuna Kofta uh, and that is also going uh, out this year um, next knit along is uh, about um, I knit along on uh, Sofia Kammerborn's patterns. Uh, you know, in this Corona times, many designers have had a bit difficult time uh, because, um, uh, yeah, you know, Corona. Many people had a difficult time in Corona, but maybe sh especially those who are not working. Um, during this time who are not um, uh, getting the money that that they were supposed to so uh, we decided uh, or four uh, Norwegian podcaster decided to have a knit along uh, on Sofia's um, pattern and why Sofia uh, because she was here in uh, on the knitting festival uh, that is called Mittnorsk Strike Festival. She, ha she and Dennis had a workshop with how to make a podcast. And I was there and uh, the almost all the other um, um, podcasters uh, was there too. So, and we have met uh, Sofia several times, or I have met her a couple of times after that. I met her in um, Orkanger on uh, the tea party that uh, Patricia from P Fortune uh, had. Uh, 
uh, in March, just right before they closed the world or closed uh, Norwegian, Norway and yeah, then the rest of the world. And I also met um, Sofia a couple, uh, three, four days later on Husfrieden in, uh, in Trondheim, where she told her, us about her um, travel in the knitting. Uh, so that's why we were, we choose uh, Sofia Kammerborn. Uh, you can go on Ravelry and buy her patterns. And uh, we started um, a group on Facebook that is called Kammerbornian Nittalang slash Samstrik. Because Samstrik is uh, Nittalang in Norwegian. Kamabornian Nitalang slash Samstrik 2020. I will link to the group uh, below so you can find the link there. Uh, the podcast Strik Bolagne Hanskarn or uh, Countryside Knitting has opened a Ravelry group that is called, um, no, has a Ravelry group with a thread that is called. Uh, Kamabornia uh, knit along and you can uh, put your finished object in there and uh, we will draw a price um, at the end of the knit along. Uh, there are four Norwegian podcasters that is uh, a part of this or uh, arranging this knit along. It is Brit Strikenar, it is Brit Arnil uh, on YouTube. Uh, it is Jorun in Gott Gammelags Håndarbeid og uh, and Janne og Merete in uh, Countryside Knitting. Uh, Britt Strykenerd, uh, Britt Arnil on YouTube, uh, Countryside Knitting has all English episodes, uh, but not Jorun. She has only Norwegian episodes. Uh, but we hope really hope that you can go in and buy some of uh, Sophia's pattern uh, and uh, be a part of this, this knit along together with us. Yeah, Sophia has some great patterns and she also made the Trondheim mittens, uh, the Trondheim hat and the Trondheim scarf. So I'm going to knit at least the mittens and uh, the scarf and maybe the hat too. And <clears throat> that was my plan with this uh, uh, midnight shawl uh, to rip this off and rip this this up and um, start on a shimming shawl uh, of Sophia Kammerborn. I uh, knitted that uh, earlier too with blue and white, uh, but this one I'm gonna. Uh, this time I'm going to use this yarn. I showed you this uh, the last time. This is like green, uh, yellow, brown, orange and uh, the white one. So uh, this is, is going to be the shimming shawl. And I think maybe it will be very nice when it's finished. But I haven't started it yet. I'm going to finish the kufta first. Just have to finish something else first. Um, the knit along, Sofia Kamabornia knit along is going to yeah, the beginning of October. So you have a good time. Yes. Um, some other things that was official today is that uh, Norway or we are uh, five podcasters. It is Janne and Merete in um, Countryside Knitting, uh, Brit Strikenerd, uh, Brit Arnil on YouTube, uh, Kristin in Fröken K, she has only Norwegian episodes, and me, Margrethe Sobekrog. We decided to that we wanted to have a um, weekend for podcasters to uh, gather podcasters and uh, share uh, yeah share things about how to uh, do a podcast how to get some nicer pictures for um, 
for Instagram or yeah, Facebook or social media. Uh, so uh, we asked the Midnorsk uh, Kultur and uh, Strike Festival. Uh, Midnorsk is like middle of Norway, ni uh, culture and knitting festival. Uh, to if they wanted to be uh, a part of this and they said yes so in october we are going to gather norwegian or maybe scandinavian depends on the corona uh, podcasters uh, for one evening in uh, orkanger and we are so looking forward to that <clears throat> and we will of course we are podcasters we have to make movies or we have to make a podcast from uh, this weekend so uh, there will be a, an episode or a lot from that one but not before october of course yeah <clears throat> so the last thing i'm going to talk to you about today is that yeah i reached 500 subscribers <laughs> And it was so fun to finally, or finally, uh, reach 500. Uh, and this is also episode, my episode number 30. Not 30 in English, but number 30. So I have these giveaways. Um, I have two giveaways. One because I reached 500 and... Uh, one because of uh, episode 30 and I want to give you uh, this knitting bag uh, to uh, I will draw draw two prices uh, two knitting bags like this I haven't sewn the other one yet but I will so uh, two winners will get this and I thought uh, to give you uh, or maybe you want a um, um, skein of sock yarn too. This is bought in Turkey. It is Turkish yarn. Uh, this is sock yarn that is 75% uh, superwash wool and 25% polyamide. It is 420 meters on 100 gram. And you can see the uh, how they will knit up in stripes like this so the color is this uh, it is uh, pink and uh, turquoise a bit green yellow uh, beige and brown and uh, the other skin is blue uh, different kind of uh, blue colors and um, gray Yeah, to get it to focus is not so easy, <laughs> but you can see how it is. So uh, both winner will get this project bag and one winner will get this blue and the other one this one. So uh, what I want you to do is, of course, subscribe on my channel so you can get uh, notice when uh, the new episodes are out. And uh, of course, thumbs up if you like the, <laughs> this video. And um, leave a comment down below on which, uh, which one of these games you want. So, uh, in the next episode, I will uh, draw a winner. Or two winners. <laughs> uh, I will draw one winner of each color here yeah so um yeah i just remember one more thing because i was um going to knit that midsummer shawl i thought that i because since i bought the pattern i have to buy uh, have to knit this shawl because i think it is beautiful shawl but i just remembered uh, a day when i was sitting here and knitting and thinking uh, I remember that I had the perfect yarn for the for that shawl, and it this is from Norway Kata. Uh, it is Kata design, uh, silk merino. It is fifty percent silk and fifty percent merino, so it is so beautiful yarn. 
and uh, the color is not exactly correct here but because it is more like uh, dark blue uh, dark red or um, um, we call it vinrö <laughs> translated is wine red <laughs> the red, red um, same color as the red wine um i have two skeins of the red one and one of this that is uh, uh red spots on it and it is the same red color as uh, in uh, this this skein so i think this will be perfect for the midnight shawl and i want to start a knit along on the, this shawl uh, i haven't uh, checked if the shawl is on English too. Um, I have to check that out to my next episode because I will not start this uh, right away. I will start on um, skimming uh, shawl first. So I am thinking maybe I will start in July with this midnight shawl and uh, leave it for uh, yeah a couple of months or so um so if you want to knit the midnight shawl with me leave a comment and uh, i will see if i um uh, can make a knit along yeah so that was what i had for you today i hope you like this episode of course and until next time take care and be safe bye bye